What's going on guys and welcome to the next episode of Pro Wrestling Today. I am your host Sport Minor Project and I do have a few topics that I want to get through at hand here and some of the topics that were supposed to be talked about on the Night of Champions pay-per-view pre-show only on Ustream. Of course we had a lot of issues going into the show so that's why the show wasn't able to go up as planned and we tried other ways to get around it and to make it better but it just wasn't that type of day to do a video or do a actual show for the pay-per-view pre-show but whenever it is when we will be back we will be announcing any announcements for the pay-per-view pre-show you can definitely go check that out on Simon Eichel's HD YouTube account for my project which is my YouTube account Chris R Black 79 and Thrash Maniac 99 and others on there YouTube accounts and we will bring you the very latest on any updating news going into for any pay-per-view pre-shows whether it be for the next and upcoming pay-per-view for Hell in a Cell we might be back for that one but it is really up in the air at this point but a few topics that I do want to talk about that has been brought to my attention that I feel like that should be talk talked about here and one of the main ones that I feel like that should be talked about is that John Cena recently going under surgery for his elbow. I will be talking about that. Also, WWE erasing their history for political reasons under Linda McMahon's political campaign. Also, Matt Morgan recently crashing a TNA house show. How do I feel about that? Also, Batista, who's going to be debuting for MMA soon which is going to be October the 6th, and I believe that is on the pay-per-view, so be on the lookout for that. Also, TNA will remain live until the end of 2012 this year, and just give some kind of brief thoughts on that, and how I feel about the product, if they had any changes of mind that I feel like I want to talk about, or just about the actual TNA situation on them being live until 2012. Also, WWE recently added a new Saturday morning show, which I'll be talking about pretty briefly as well. And as well with plans for Sin Cara and Rey Mysterio. Recently, they have been tag teaming as of late. What's going to be happening to them going into WrestleMania 29? I will be mentioning that one as well. And as well, we did have a return with WWE Diva Cameron, who is a part of the Funkin' Dactors for Brothers Clays dancers and one of them returning recently and I will be mentioning that as well so getting into the first topic at hand which I really do want to talk about and that is John Cena going under elbow surgery that has been to my attention by Simon Alka HD and this is kind of an, a video response going for my YouTube video as well and with this I think with the YouTube um, and the report that John Cena will be probably out and maybe missing Hell in the Cell. I don't really think so, but it will be wise to keep John Cena out for a while. And then he'll probably do some promos. I think he'll be doing that at least just for his build up with CM Punk. And this might be the actual final match of their feud, I would think, anyway, since it's Hell in the Cell. And with that big type of match stipulation. I figure it would end there for the WWE Championship, but that could possibly be in jeopardy. We might have someone else go into a feud with CM Punk instead. Recently, we had a Bertie Del Rio after losing to Sheamus wanting to try and go for something else and maybe go for the WWE Championship. I think that would be cool. We've seen a Bertie Del Rio and Sheamus go at it so many times already. Even though the matches are pretty good to even good and they have gotten better, I don't really want to see another match going for Hell in a Cell. I think we've seen enough out of those two alone. But if it does, then I guess that'll be the final time. So as for John Cena, I don't really see him taking too much time off just for that little bit anyway so he can get healed up. And John Cena works a lot as it is anyway. We really get to see him do anything that would have him to be off whether it be from injury he's been wrestling with injuries for most of his life as of right now 
and I don't remember a time as bad as John Cena had an injury since 2008 was the only time that he was able to return at the Royal Rumble with his injury that he had at that past SummerSlam. But um, I do see John Cena hopefully coming back and still being able to work this feud. It'll probably just be CM Punk and Paul Heyman filling in as of right now and taking their part and explaining what had happened with the recent controversial finishes that we had, like the one that we had at Night of Champions with that roll-up from the top rope. Also, with the raw controversial finish where CM Punk, he had his foot under the rope as well and wanted to have the referee reverse the decision so I think we'll get more reasoning on what's been going on with those controversial finishes and I do want to make a correction for my Night of Champions 2012 pay-per-view review and once John Cena won the WWE Championship at that time I thought it was over so that's when I did end the pay-per-view overall and that's around the time when the match is over I just basically end the pay-per-view and then do my review and then do that so I can go to sleep and get ready for the next day. So uh, as I heard for the next day that John Cena did not win the WWE Championship, so I do apologize for that. I was corrected on that on my videos and I did correct it on there too as well. And a few of my friends actually brought that up to my attention and I saw it on WWE.com and as we went into Raw the next night that CM Punk is still the WWE Champion, which is fine. So that continues his reign of possibly even beating John Cena's reign. I don't think he actually beat it yet, but I think he's getting close to it. And I think that's really awesome. I like his whole title reign and everything and how that everyone has been trying to even defeat CM Punk. Can't really get the job done. So in this case, it's been ending in controversial ways. And um, I don't have a problem with that. I like CM Punk. I've always liked the guy. And he's definitely one of my favorites right now and currently. And one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. I would kind of consider that too myself. So uh, that's all that I want to get to talk about there as the main part of this whole entire podcast. And as well video for my YouTube channel. Next topic at hand, we got WWE erasing there. History meaning the Attitude Era for Linda McMahon's Senate run and with this I didn't really like that whole idea I was hoping that would be a rumor and I was hearing that WWE 13 might be in jeopardy because the whole theme of that is a base on the Attitude Era and just to have everyone who's been working on the game for so long and now that the game is going to be happening officially and debuting next month it wouldn't make sense to just change the whole game just because it's based on the Attitude Era and the whole erasing of the history of the Attitude Era shouldn't be untouched and there's been so many, a lot of great moments and so many great things that happened in that point in time that I feel like that should not be erased and even though I know it's not going to come back and we can look back on it on YouTube, we can look it on on somewhere else on the internet or just go buy some of the DVDs that's out and around um, in stores and everything and to me if that shouldn't be untouched and if they're going to be taking out some of the moments I guess that it'll be okay but I'm not really a fan of that either I wouldn't really vote for Linda McMahon and her senate run and everything so if she still wants to continue to do that which she is anyway then that's more power to her and um, I have been watching here and there what she's been doing in political wise and everything but other than that I wouldn't really vote for her so to me having a great moment in history and time where it was just so groundbreaking and a lot of crazy stuff did go down there um, I really don't think that that should be erased um, but only time will tell hopefully this will, will be and then up to be just a rumor at least in my point of view that's just how I feel about it but for me that would be a stupid move if that was the case and we had that erased from history so it shouldn't be in my book. Next po uh, point of the topic that I do have at hand here and that is with Matt Morgan crashing a TNA house show and everyone has been talking about what's going on with this guy is he gonna go to the WWE is he still gonna be a TNA and I 
did think that Matt Morgan was going to go to the WWE and work the gimmick that he had in TNA. I think that would work really well there. Work with some of the guys that he's never faced before or faced before and renew some feuds would be cool. But, um, I don't know. It's really up in the air. I'm at a loss on what Matt Morgan is really going to be doing. I also thought that he was going to be a part of the Aces and Eights. I thought that would have been cool for a storyline since we haven't seen Matt Morgan used in a while. And that would be the perfect time to have Matt Morgan to come in for the Aces and Eights and say that he's tired of being overlooked and he wants something new and done for him and maybe want a World Heavyweight Championship shot. That would have been fine. But it's really hard to tell at this point what's to come with Matt Morgan. I'm not really the greatest fan of Matt Morgan. I do like him sometimes, and his wrestling is fairly decent. I will give it that. And um, I'm not really too sure what to expect from him just yet, but it looks like as of right now, I would say that Matt Morgan is still going to be staying in TNA. But that's just me, so whether or not that's going to happen, we'll um, have to tune in, I guess, and see what else is going to be happening with him. But that's only entirely up to him on his decision on what he wants to do. Now getting into the next topic at hand here, and that is Batista and his MMA debut on October the 6th, and that will be on the pay-per-view. And uh, I did hear that Batista left in good terms from the WWE, so maybe in time after his MMA debut and his MMA career, we will see Batista come back to the WWE. I really feel like he should come back to his heel run, since we didn't really get to see all that much out of his recent heel run that he had with John Cena, and once he left the company overall, so I do wish Batista the very best of luck in his MMA debut and his MMA career. I hope he does really well over there. We've already seen how Brock Lesnar can do in the MMA world, and he's done a really an amazing job there, and it became uh, even more uh, UFC and MMA fan once Brock Lesnar was over there, so I probably won't be watching October the 6th, but if I can watch some maybe YouTube videos on it, or if I can find it somewhere on TV and re-watch it, maybe a replay if I can find it, then that would be really cool since I am a fan of MMA and I haven't been watching too much, but I should probably get back into it whenever I can. And that's really cool to watch and I like going to different companies and checking out what they have and it's something fresh for me and seeing where other wrestlers have gone before and seeing all the different types of new guys and who wants to make it to uh, whichever company they're going to be going to so it's really fun and I like exploring my surroundings like that and I encourage everyone to do that and instead of just watching the main shows like WWE and TNA there is so much more out there once you look at it and once you have the time, I think you would be really surprised on what's really out there. So, anyway, as far as Batista is concerned, I do wish him the very best of luck in the MMA world. Now we move on to TNA, that it will be staying live until the end of this year for 2012. Overall, I've been enjoying TNA as of late and ever since going live, I mentioned this before, they've been putting on a really good show and product as of late. 